Hi guys, Stratinato here. This time with another how-to video on how to build scanners in Sync or Swim. Since I did a Twitter poll a few weeks ago, most of you would like to see how to build scanners in Sync or Swim. So in this video, I show you how to build scanners based on different strat setups so that you can build them for yourself and have them always available as saved scans or scan queries in Sync or Swim. So let's dive right into the how-to. All you need is from Sarah's pinned tweet the strat combo sheet which shows you some of the possible setups from this strat. So she created uh, this sheet and shares it freely. So and with this sheet you can build scanners based on some of the setups that you like the most. Like I like the 322 reversals or the 122 ref struts that are my favorites. And as you see here, the 322 reversal is a, a outside bar, a two down and a two up bar. Or a ref strut, bearish or bullish is a inside bar followed by a two down and a two up. And I will show you today how to build such a ref strut bar here. And if you understand the, the concept of this to build the rest of the setups you like the most on different time frames for your own. So all this setup I show you here are scanners for the daily scans, but you can build them as well for weekly and monthly or hourly charts, whatever you like. So if you have this strat combo sheet available, I will link it in the description of this YouTube video as well to Sarah's pinned tweet. We can dive right into Sync or Swim. So in Sync or Swim, there are lots of ways to create such scanners. I show you my way. It is not the only way and it might not be the best way, but it is the way I do it and I understand it and I can create different scans whenever I like a new one or select quickly select a new candle type and scan for a different setup of these. So my idea is based on the candlestick patterns. So you, if you go to your chart settings and open the patterns and switch to candlestick here and then you can create your own candlestick patterns. You need only those four that you have to create for yourself. I show you again in Sarah's stretch sheet. We only need four candlestick patterns, a two up, a two down, an inside candle and an outside candle. This are only the four candles we all we need and we will create these candlestick patterns now and with these candlestick patterns you can set up different scans. So as you see here I've created them but I create a new one to show you how this works in this video and you can create the rest for yourself as well. So you have to cr click create here and with this candlestick pattern editor you have to click on the plus sign here and we need a mixed candle okay a mixed candle which totally confused me at the beginning was that this here always has the five selected of total mixed candles we only need one and then we need another candle also a mixed candle and we do the same here switch it to one and now you have to connect the high if we create an inside candle we need to make this high greater than this high because we have an inside bar so you see this high is now higher than this or this high is lower than this whatever which direction you read it and the same you need from here you connect this low to this low and say it's less than and now we have our inside candle here you can name it whatever you like i call it strut inside demo and you can define a color here but we I don't need this candlestick patterns on my charts. It, I only use this for scans, so it doesn't matter which color is selected here. So if you finish this inside demo candle, I can hit save and it's available here. So I show you again with a two up candle. We create the candlestick pattern, create a mixed candle, set it to one candle, another one also to one candle. Now we connect the high to this high and select that this high here is less than this high because the two up is a breakout to the upside. So we connect less than, so that we have this high connected as well and now we connect the low to this low and say also that this one is less than the previous bar. So and this is our strut to up demo, a green color or whatever you like and save it. So and for the one to two ref strut setup, again I show you in this sheet here, for this setup we only need ones and twos, no three yet, but you get the idea on how to create them for yourself. If you finish this setup here, you can switch to the scan tab. We create a new custom study, so select study custom and in this sync script editor here all you need you see one of these scans is here but i created with you that that you see how it's done we need a one two down oh, let's show it again we need a, a bullish ref strut combo is a one a inside candle a two down and a two up and since i created these candles 
for myself before. It's just that easy. As, as you type here, you also get the uh, auto completion from Zingo Swim. You can inside and then can select here your inside demo candle. And since it's a function, you need to end this with the parenthesis here. Since we need from one bar ago, you can specify it in this sync script language here, which is a uh, square brackets and then a one because the zero is the current bar and the one is one bar ago. So that's why this is a one and the zero is the last closed bar or the current bar whatever whenever you scan when you scan after market close the zero is daily on the daily is the scan from the daily candle and the one is from one bar ago on week the same and on month and you, you get the idea if you have here selected uh let me remove this so it insert bar and so you can type it like you you would like to speak it and then i use my strut to down candle that i created before and now i use the last one from the last candle and to get better results because not every inside and to down is a good setup for a ref strut because the bullish setup here is an inside candle and a two down and if scan for two down but green candles because if the candle is two down and red it's more likely that it drops the next day even more but i scan for possible setups that reverse here and so I scan only for setups that are two down and green because if it's green it's more likely that it gets this entry trigger here and hits this target on the next candle or possible if it's uh, triggers at all so what i like to do is i not only select here a two down candle i add a condition so that this candle must be closed green on this day so it's a green candle this reduces the number of setups but also increases the chances of a bullish trigger here instead of if this candle closed red we need all the way up before we hit the trigger and this is more unlikely than if it closed green so this is our two down setup inside the two down and then i add another condition and this condition is the close of the last bar so the two down must be greater than the open of the last bar so this way it selects only the green candles you don't need to specify this square brackets if you only reference to the last candle i like to do it this way or it reads a bit easier if you later uh, change some of these settings so if you have you set up your your trigger we have now our study here and here in the scan in i like to scan my own watch list that i created with around 40 to 50 tickets in that i trade regularly no need to scan for more but single swim allows to scan for different s p 500s or the nasdaq or whatever you like but i like to scan only my watch list setups here these are all high liquid option chains because i know I'm an option trader. Uh, they all have, or most of them have weeklies as well, but you can, of course, customize this fully here and select your own watch list or select a predefined watch list from Sync or Swim, whatever you like. I like to intersect with weeklies so that I only get the weekly option chains as well. Uh, and so it's free for whatever you like to customize here. And then if you hit scan, did it before, so I will find square and I scanned on the daily. So this, uh, the D shows here is the day. I can all also switch this to the weekly scan and hit scan again. And now it shows me four possible setups. And to verify if this works, I switch to, let's say PayPal here. So I go to my chart, switch to PayPal. And here is my weekly chart. Get rid of the drawing sets here. And as you see, we have a one and a two down, but green. So it's more likely that next week on this setup here, PayPal might hit the top of this candle, which is the 195.24. So if this was a green, can a red candle here, it's more unlikely that it's a 122 ref strut. And with this scans here, you can customize all your different candle types or can uh, strut combos, whatever you like. So just for fun, let's create another candle type. This time we try the 322 setup, which is one of my favorite setups currently. So we check first how the setup looks like on Sarah's uh, strat combo cheat sheet. So here you have it. And it's the three, two down and a two up for the bullish reversal and the three, two up and a two down for the bearish reversal. I will show you how to create the three two down two up bullish reversal in sync or swim as well now so first we need to create the outside bar pattern so we go to the charts and 
patterns, candlesticks. Let's create a new pattern type. I have created this as well, but I show you here how this is done. So we need one mixed candle and another mixed candle. And then we connect the high of the previous candle to this one and say it is less because the high is always higher than the previous candle and this one oh sorry is greater so that the outside bar is created here so the the low of the last candle is lower or is smaller than the low of the outside candle of the of the previous candle so then we can create it i've done this already here as you see strut outside bar exactly what i did before and then we need the two down and two up as well i have created them i show you them you can create it for yourself so we have created the strut two up demo before and this strut two down is just the inverse of the two up it's a two down candle and strut combo that is looks like that the candle broke the low of the last candle but not the high of the last candle so with these three candle types these three the two down and the two up we can create our strat scan for three to two bullish reversal we have to switch to the scan tab custom study we edit the study let's do a daily scan and in the sync script editor let's remove this and type strut outside bar from one bar ago and strut to down previous the current candle and we also since it's a bullish reversal we would also like to only scan for green two down candles so as shown before on the one two two setup we now need the close greater than the open so and with this setup we have our three two down and we assume that the next might be a two up because the close was greater than the open. I show this in a scan. I'm not sure if we had one from last week. So we had Teladoc. So if I show you Teladoc on the daily. So it's just three, a two down. And we, if we trigger the high of the previous candle, so from the Thursday 23rd, which is 95.42, our target would be 98.43. So and with all these scans, you can, on the top right, you can save these queries whatever name it whatever you like this is just one that i loaded before so you could scan them you could also scan for maybe all the s p 500 maybe there were more than more 3 to 2 setups take two would be another one so let's check if this works and as you see three two down with a hammer setup so most likely if we break 178.51 might be a 180.37 target but you have always taken to the account the time frame continuity which looks not that bad on the take two in the active chart we have a green week two up we have a green month but two down so most likely we could get a nice bullish reversal here for the three two two up to 180.37 let's check and you will see if this works next week and with all this information and with all these candle types you have set up, you can create very different scans all from the strat combo sheet. I did this for myself before where you, I put the combo sheet on the left side and sink or swim on the right side. And with that, I can create all these scans here, but we only need the first two candles on a three, on a three bar setup because we don't know or we, we, we might watch if the next candle, the, the candle for the next day or the next week. So I hope this you found this helpful. As I mentioned before, I will put the link to this combo sheet from Sarah in the description, in the video description here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at Stradinator. And I hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't to my channel. And I wish you a nice week and take care.